This is a science show on URN. So gravity is a force and it's produced by anything which has mass. So in our case, the Earth pulls us down so we stay on the ground. That's why we don't float off into space. But by the same respects, even I produce gravity. I know it's hard to believe, but it's only a little bit. Even the walls around us all produce gravity because they contain mass. And the biggest mass in the solar system, the Sun, pulls us in. That's why we always surround. Um, and today we're going to show you an experiment with what happens when you play with gravity. Our everyday experiences tells us that different objects fall to the Earth differently. For example, a paper aeroplane falls to the ground quite slowly, and a bottle full of water falls quite fast. Oh, that's a near miss. But what happens when you take air resistance out of the equation? When NASA went to the moon, one of the experiments they performed involved taking two unusual objects with them. These were a feather and a hammer. Okay, they're not quite, but hopefully you'll get what we mean. What they showed was that objects fell at the same rate regardless of how heavy or big they were, which seems contradictory here on Earth, but we're going to show you this anyway. So naturally, with our student budget, we can't afford to go to the moon, but we've delved deep into the physics department and we found this experiment. In the bottom of the tube here is a feather and a hammer, and when there's air inside the tube, um, have a guess what wins? The hammer, of course. In that last experiment, the hammer won by a country mile. So what we're going to do now is try something slightly different. We're going to remove all the air from the tube inside to give us more moonlight conditions. Welcome to space. Okay, so we shall now try the experiment again. So last time the hammer won, hopefully things will be slightly different this time. So what we saw in that experiment was that all objects fall at the same speed. The reason this was the case was because we removed all air resistance in the tube. Here on Earth, air resistance causes light wide objects like the feather to fall really slowly. This is how a parachute works and why you fall down safely with one. However, on the moon where there is no air resistance, objects all fall at the same speed. So if you take, take anything away from this, don't take a parachute to the moon. This is Student Science, signing out.